Hey, what's going on, diecast people? The layout is a mess all for one little corner. Still drying. I screwed up on it. We're going to have to see what happens with it. I think there might be a couple of ways that I can fix it. But anyways, uh, as I showed you in the last video, I spackled this entire corner. I did some taping off, which I don't usually do, but I'm glad I did because you know, it makes the lines look a lot better. But it also pulled up some paint. <clears throat> that's not a big deal, though. That's a, a super easy fix. It's not a mixed color, so... I can just go right back over it but I screwed up because when I grabbed the glue I just grabbed a bottle of Mod Podge that I had I mixed it in here with dish soap which is what you're supposed to do to keep it real thin it's called wet water you mix the glue with the wet water but after I was done, I realized that it's gloss. <laughs> so I, I'm kind of puzzled because I, I don't know why I would even have <clears throat> a bottle of gloss Mod Podge. Because I have I would never use gloss. I have no use for gloss. So why I even had one in my possession is beyond me. But I think there's a couple things I can do to fix it. Um, Right now, I think it's drying. I think it looks pretty good. I don't even think... I don't even think it, it'll be noticeable on the grass. Except for... Like, there are some parts you can see where... You know, underneath where it kind of shines. Really just makes it look like the ground is wet. But where I think it's going to be a big problem is on the gravel. The gravel lot just really wet so I don't know we'll just have to see I think what I can do there's two things I I think I can do that might fix it and the first thing is to go back over the top of everything with a matte mod mod podge I think that may flatten it out and if that didn't then I'm pretty sure that a matte clear coat I'm almost positive that that would take down the shine just from the Hot Wheels customizing I've done with matte clear coat I am almost positive that that'll fix the issue I really don't want to go over it again because number one it's a lot of work and number two this is already two really thick layers deep and this part of the landscape is going to start being elevated quite a bit to the rest of it so anyways um here i'll show you guys real quick with the house because uh, i know that's kind of a an odd little configuration i got to run the vacuum and clean this up but i'm not going to do any of that until tomorrow i'm going to let it all dry really good overnight but here's the house, and it's going to sit probably about like that. So once I get a couple of trees in the yard, and maybe a split rail fence over here on this side, then I think it should be okay. And there's the main drag. Just crap everywhere. You know, these aren't all that hard to do, but they are messy. And you got to be careful because <clears throat> the grass, the turf, is essentially a foam powder. And when you're sanding this, you know that turns into a, a powder so 
you want to make sure you're wearing a mask and using a vacuum or either that or um, do a wet sand that'll help keep the dust down but when you're app when you're applying the turf you definitely want to make sure you're wearing a mask you don't want to be breathing that stuff in so anyways so there it is that's an update I really would like to be doing a diecast video tonight but it's just not in the cards I have no idea why I have in my possession a bottle of gloss Mod Podge it really sucks but oh well like I said I think for this part I don't think it'll make a whole lot of difference maybe it, I don't know maybe it will but for the gravel I'm pretty positive it's gonna make it look like crap and honestly I'm not really liking the way that's looking anyways but then again when it's wet you can't tell because it looks it looks vastly different when it's wet than it does when it dries so <clears throat> you can't really judge you can't really judge the result until it's dry um, cuz you really when you're when you're applying all of the uh, terrain fe features you want to really soak them with wet water and then soak them again with wet water and glue so anyways there's the uh, update I'll uh, take a couple steps back so this board is probably two feet by two feet by four feet I would say so, or maybe, I don't know, I'd have to measure. It's a good size board. I didn't uh, plan it out very well though, the layout for the buildings that I have. Because now, the car dealership and the gas station really aren't going to have much of a place on the layout. I could use the gas station on this little gravel lot there, but no house wants to be that close to a gas station. So, but you know, <clears throat> for doing the videos, it's all interchangeable. None of the buildings are fixed to the layout. So, I don't know. We'll have to see what, how that looks tomorrow. And uh, then I'll just go from there. But hopefully tomorrow night I'll be done. And hopefully I'll be back with a video. I've got something in mind that I'd kind of like to do. So thank you as always. Have a good night. I will holler at the next one.